We're all just chilling on the bed. This is Jared's like first time really talking to her. We're all just hanging out on the bed, just having normal conversation. Like and then Jared just like lets one rip on accident. I don't think it was like a let one rip. I think it was just like I was trying to like control it. But in that moment, what was your thought? I wanted to myself what are you talking about what was my thought i just like it was one of those where you like i guess you try to like fart inside your body <laughs> do you know what i'm talking about you like reverse osmosis this fart in your intestines i don't know what you're talking about man but okay i think i gotta chill out on using that like garlic jalapeno powder seasoning or whatever because ever since i introduced that into my diet it has my it's been rough for my stomach poop i guess Number and more three. and more <laughs> what one not, and two combined. You not, not exactly that, but um you peep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's like Easter down there. Ew. It's a joke, guys. <laughs> God damn. He is risen. Zach, I feel like it's been a long time since we've done We're a not podcast. starting yet, man. Why? I hate when he turns into his podcast voice. <laughs> Just for we'll the be, beginning. We'll be hanging out like, yo, what's good? What's good? Hey, how we feeling? How we feeling? And then he'll he'll go. <laughs> Well, Zach, it is so nice to see you here today. Act like who you are. Well, who I am normally is like, <laughs> I'm usually really, I feel like I have a very mellow voice when I'm not on the podcast. The word is nasally. That's disrespectful. Okay, you know. I only I do this because Alyssa laughs at You me. know I can't breathe out of my nose. It's stuffed up. And so I sound like this. Okay. You do sound like that. Yeah, I know I sound like that. What? Okay. Because my my nasal cavities are clogged. Well, I'm trying to bully you into getting a rhino. What is it? Plasty. Rhinoplasty. So you can breathe again. Why don't you bully me into doing that? Because you can breathe. Mine is medical. Yours is cosmetic. Mine and could I be don't, medical too. I don't think you need a nose job. <laughs> Maybe I need a hand job though. Can we hear some intro music? Oh, this is going to be oh, the first one is, with oh. a new intro. Uh, 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 uh. Hope you guys like that new intro. We paid money for it. We did pay money for it. Let us know if we should have or if we should get a refund. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. No, I I really like it, but people hate change. And so I'm just I'm worried about the backlash we might face. Although people did like whoops, people did like the uh Polaroid little still that I put in at the end of Ashley Gavin's episode. People like Caitlin. Jenner? Is that yeah. the, the the comparison you're trying to make here? You said people hate change. It's just not adding, adding up. Well, I feel like there are a certain hate amount change. of people that do hate change. If you hate change, you just don't like being outside of your comfort zone. T. Coming from a girl that doesn't like to go outside because she's scared of the sun. <laughs> That's not true. But I hear you, buddy. <laughs> I'm you are scared of the up, dark. You are straight up Nick Swartz's character from the bench warmers. Yeah. Huh? I thought we watched that movie together. Yeah, but the bench warmers is. I'm the, on the, the bench guy, warmers. No, the guy that's afraid of the sun and the. It doesn't matter. You're that's, afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the sun, but yes, I have two night lights in my room because I'm afraid of the dark there and a, I keep my a, TV on. There was a debate the other day. Um, they were talking about should we take away guns from America? And then she's like, you know, it's more scary talking to other human beings. Everyone should just be mute. And I was like, really? Wow. Bull take. Um, I want to talk about something. Okay. <laughs> I hurt. I hurt a woman this week. What? I physically or mentally? <laughs> or emotionally? Um, or does that fall under mentally? I think emo- I think emotionally and I'm very serious. Um we we were in a dating video. Jared it <laughs> Oh fuck. Oh, this is actually kind of sad. I felt really bad and I still feel really bad. Uh Jared and I were in a blind dating video where um was it seven girls are behind a curtain and I can't see them and I ask them questions and I eliminate one after each set of questions as who I want to go on a date with. And it was one of David Alvarez's videos, so that'll come out soon. But. And and Jared is um, kind of my wingman. We we talk about like what girl I like, what girl I don't like, and one of the questions. So we're going down the line. Um, so David brings me to the videos to bring humor. I'm supposed to be joking around. He wants a lighthearted video. Of course, it's it's all for laughs. It's all know? for laughs, and I I tend to push the line. That's why you know people have me in their videos. Is you know I, I say stuff with. You bring the shock factor. I bring the shock factor, but I've always got good intention. I want everybody, you know, to not feel bad about themselves or whatever it is. But so one of my questions was, um, I asked the ladies, if you found out I was sleeping with your mother, 
who would you cheat on me with to get back at me? Which that alone is just a wild question. Well, it's I just think of a funnier. It's just a funnier way of saying who's your celebrity crush. So I'm okay. going down. I'm going down the line. They're like, I'd sleep with Jason Momoa or, or whatever they're saying. And then we get to one girl, and she says, um, "Well, jokes on you. My mom's dead," or something like that. Right? Uh, yeah, something to that effect. Well, she was kind of joking about it, so I I joked back. And I said, well, then I'm trying to go deeper than in you than they buried your mom. I'm trying to go. There's the shock factor. I'm trying to, instead of six feet, I'm trying to go six inches. I, th- I think what I said, because I, th- I yeah. thought she was joking about it. And then, and then I was like, oh, this is really dark. And I said it like laughing or whatever. She's like, no, dark humor is fine. This is how I deal with it. Right. So she set it up. So I thought the floodgates were open for, you know, joking about the deceased mom. Mm-hmm. And I. And I thought, you know, it made her feel like she liked joking about it. Um, and she's like, no, my mom wasn't buried. She was actually cremated. And <laughs> and I said, okay, in that instance, then I'll put her in my Keurig and drink her as my morning coffee. Oh, God. Which that is that is just such a dark image. Dark I know, but she, so she was like, I like dark humor. So I thought, yeah. oh, okay, we're going to, no, no, no. you know, we'll make light of the situation. Humor makes people laugh. And, um, when it comes to, I have to eliminate someone after that question. She just, well, so David, he goes, you have to, we, we conjecture, whatever we talk to each other and we pick one girl and then David surprises us. And he goes, you have to pick two girls. And so we're like, Oh hell, who are we going to get rid of? So I get rid of, um, one girl. And then the girl that we, I made the jokes with, she was like, I can't do this. And she goes, this isn't for me. This isn't for me. And then she, comes up to me, like shakes my hand and leaves. And I joke around. I was like, don't worry. I was going to vote you off anyway, because honestly, I thought that David had told her beforehand, Hey, in the middle, just leave and see how he reacts. Yeah. Like, which is something like kick yourself out. Yeah. Yeah, So I was like, Oh, she's like, she's kicking herself out to make it look like she doesn't want to be here. So like I made another joke of like, I was going to kick you out anyway, even though I don't think I was. Yeah. And, um, and then she leaves, she leaves. And then David's like, I'll be right back. And the set kind of, kind of, kind of like it got quiet obviously just because we weren't filming so nobody wanted to like say or do anything or whatever like get rid of any material but i recognized her from a video that she had done with hunter march earlier where she's very like wild and out there um and like sexually forward and up until that point it wasn't like like you were asking questions about bringing the girls home to your mom and like one girl's a porn star on there and so we were joking about having things to be like things having to be wholesome. And so I thought she was just like, I don't want to do wholesome. This isn't for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, so then she leaves the set and I was, I was like, Oh, that was a funny prank by David. And then David like follows her and it's been a very long time. And I'm like, very long. That set was awkwardly quiet. I was like, for wait, so long. was that not a joke? So I leave and I go find David. I'm like, Hey, wait, was that not a joke? He's like, Oh no, she just, she's like, Oh, I, I'm so sorry, David. Usually I don't get upset about these things. It's just close to Mother's Day and it really struck a chord and I got really sad. And her birthday is the day before Mother's Day as well. Yeah. So I was like, oh, David, can I please apologize to her? And she didn't want anybody to know because not anybody to know. She didn't want people to know the reason she left was because she got upset. Um, She just, you know, wanted to keep it to herself. And she told David, she's like, it's not anybody's fault. It's just me feeling this way. Like um, I said, I like dark humor. It's just what it was. But I just felt so bad that I don't know. I've never seen that much empathy or. Whoa, 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 whoa. What were no. you going to say? You like, ever seen me empathetic? No, I have seen you empathetic. Hell. But like that was like Dude. another level of empathy that I hadn't seen from you. Well, you don't want to make fun of someone's no, dead mom course. if they don't actually want you to make fun of them. Oh, I know. I know. I'm just saying. So I tried to go talk to her. She didn't want, she was just like, hey, I'm just, yeah, I, I, you know, it's nobody's fault. I just, you know, kind of, kind of got a little upset. So I sent her a DM afterwards and I just very long, like, hey, I really apologize. I hope, I thought, you know, I was just trying to make light, make a funny situation in the video. I thought you liked dark humor. So that's why I kind of, press the gas on, on the jokes. And I, I shouldn't have, if I knew it would affect you like that. And if I would have known, I thought you were joking when you left the set or else I would have followed you immediately and apologized, but, um, she hasn't seen it. So Uh-oh. I DM'd her, but I was going to add, that was going to be my next question. If well, apparently, apparently she wasn't actually upset. She just like, 
you just it was just it like struck a chord and i just if you see this I, I do want to apologize time. again yeah. um and i told david to apologize on my behalf so uh sorry to you um i don't what was your name i can't remember i don't think we should say it anyway probably probably not Good. well i mean people are going to see the video they're going to like well we didn't ask their names they were behind the yeah the sheet or whatever but um anyway so that was an eventful week and i i did feel terrible so <laughs> that was rough but the rest of the video was great yeah i took away my feminism card i'm not sure you had it to begin with i traded in my library card for it seems like one for one exchange wait so you you traded in so you got a feminism card mm -hmm. oh i thought you said you gave it away <laughs> oh also oh oh wait we shouldn't transition for me being um i, I genuinely was empathetic about that and now yeah. well i was about to i forgot something that we were going to promote and this feels like a bad place to say it so well funny. i feel as if narcissism <laughs> I, this feels I, like a narcissistic take. I feel like we're already past the point of, you know, saving this moment. So I feel like you might as well just go ahead and. Okay. One, sorry again. And two, we're, <laughs> we're doing a live show. Woo. Um, that's exciting. No, there's no way we should have put it. The yellow. Definitely not. Um, <laughs> maybe. Okay. Uh, it's going to be in Burbank. You can, you can stop. Hey, <laughs> hey, man, we don't need that much applause. <laughs> Um, it is going to be in Burbank, California at Flappers. Um, let me see the date. Is that May. an 18? Sunday, um, the 28th of May, uh, around 5 p.m. And uh, the next day is, I think, Memorial Day. So you, they should have like Monday off, most people. Oh, long yeah. weekend. So uh, if you want to see us, uh, tickets are going to be in the description. It's our first time doing a live show. We plan the on- tickets are already going to be in the description? <laughs> what, what do you mean, man? <laughs> Wait, I thought you said. Wait, they have they announced it on the website? Oh, wait, no, I, 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 I'm. We 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 talked about it today, but I assume they're gonna get us the link before this goes up by Tuesday. Okay, I was just making sure. You said that we weren't gonna promote it until it was on the website, and so I thought everything just got fast tracked because you brought this up three hours ago. Listen, act like we act like we put this together for months. Well, it'll be a month by the time. Okay, we plan on out. having special guests. Um, a lot of fun games, interactive ones with you. Hopefully have some merch there. And obviously if you're not there, then suck it. You mean nothing to us? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great. You should have been there. Should have been there. Um, should have, would have, could have. I would love to put your family in front of a firing squad, like things of that nature. Yeah, that's dark. It would be cool right. if you could live stream it on the Patreon. That would. That wouldn't. Really we're trying to get live people there, man. That, yeah, now they're going to stay at home. But what about the people? You know how many people aren't in church it. anymore because they watch it online? You think you're feeling the Holy Ghost through a Ethernet cable? No. That's a good point, Alyssa. We can make a vlog and put it on the Patreon. Also, oh, uh, we, uh, we have a Patreon. Our goal in May is to get to, what, 1,000 patrons? We're trying to get to 1,000 patrons, and uh, we're at like 300 now, and we really really appreciate everybody doing whatever. And the content on there has been insane, and we did a Alyssa face reveal. And <laughs> again, if you're not on there, you're missing out on probably the best content this side of the Mississippi. And yeah, I, yeah, that sounds about right. Also, if you don't sign up, I'll punch you. I don't know, man. How do you promote things? Whatever. Let's move on. Is physical violence in the, the description? Promote physical things? violence will get you to do anything. Actually, that was a Watch good this. point. No, 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 no. Get no, on all get... fours. What would you say right now? No. I have a gun. No, you did this in the after the first after school special. What would you did. do now? I would get on all fours. And what does that teach you, boys and girls? Uh, I was in the second after school special. Oh, here we go. She stole the show. A lot she of thinks she's hot shit no, now. I don't. A lot of guys want to get in that clam. No. That, yes, no, they did. Find that, that pearl. True. That's what I heard. No. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. true. That is, is true. true. Oh, we're also doing a Patreon drunk episode where- So each month you'll do a bonus episode. And, and the, these two are going to get blackout and just let me- I don't know about blackout. I think you guys might make I'm out. I'm going to be- We're not going to no. make out. But- uh, I will tease it just dude. We're trying to get patrons man tease it be like hey, we might tongue wrestle go ahead Hey, we might tongue wrestle Alyssa. What's your take on that? <laughs> no. Okay, we won't you said you might show some you know what I mean? Yeah, whoa. Yeah, she's gonna sh show some skin show some yitties Dude, I have access I might subscribe <laughs> <laughs> Whatever kidding. whatever Alyssa's coming out of her. Wow your mom listens to this. I'll have you know she goes on one after school special and all of a sudden she's whipping out her yiddies for the for all the patrons. I'm kidding. I don't think you are. Oh, um, it's it's very awkward in the morning because obviously we all live together. And anytime I have cereal, she's like, I don't know why you're buying the gallons when I got the jugs. You know what I mean? That's so gross. <laughs>
Yeah, that's I what I thought. Do that yet? Lactate? Yeah. Have yeah. you found a male suitor uh, to impregnate you so you can make your parents happy no, yet? I don't. I don't. Want or to. oh, now we're not. Have talking you prayed about, about this? it? I don't want to. Pray oh, oh, she doesn't want to talk about um, her family really wanting her, like begging her to become no. pregnant. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> We've both offered you our seed. Wait, okay. No. We'll, we'll get off of well, yeah. her, but speaking of babies. When were you on her? <laughs> shut up. Speaking of babies, did you see Kian and Ayla are expecting? No, I didn't know that. You didn't know that? No. Dude, I know. They just announced it like the other day. Is this our something. first podcast guest to have a child post-podcast? Post-podcast? I think so. Yeah. Wow. That's so this exciting. means a lot to me. Do you think I'll be the godfather? No. No. Why? Uh, name eight reasons. Eh, name one. I can probably name eight of his. JC. JC's probably going to be up there on that list before you. Do you think he'd be a good father? Yeah, I think I'd be a good father. What are some good traits? And I'll see if that's true. I think I have a great capacity for love um, and understanding and patience. The list is falling off her seat. <laughs> <laughs> Positivity in the household. I Yeah, I don't know. Just like... It would be, I would just raise the kid like discipline would be a little hard, um, but I did learn a lot of lessons uh, from April when she came in my life. All right, let's, okay, you're, I'm your 14, 15 year old teenage son. You're the dad and you come in, come in and talk to me about, I got a, I got an F in, in science. And I'm 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 in my room playing video games. What's your? Are you still Zach? Or you like, can name me whatever you want. I'm your kid. Remember? I'm not named my kid Jerry. <laughs> you seem like you name your kid Jerry. All right, fine. You're Jerry now. Hey, uh, Jerry, can I talk to you for a minute? No, I'm good. No, okay, I'm gonna talk to you for a minute. Uh, let's put the. Zach, you close the door. I'm playing no, video games. Let's put the game down. Mm, I'm good. All right. Uh, boop. Turn off the game. Um, are you serious? Don't take that tone of voice. Or what? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. Do it. Get my belt off right now. Oh, dude. You're just like the uncle, huh? Yeah, smack me with it. Oh, dad. How's that? I don't like how you like that that much. Well, do it again. Well, now I'm not going to do it again. Okay, so who won here? Oh, dad. (laughs) Daddy. Okay, I need to talk to you about your grades. You can talk to me about whatever you want. Okay, uh, I want to talk to you about this this F in biology. I want you to put your going. belt back on. What do you think I'm doing? Dad, can I be honest about something? Huh? Education doesn't matter. What, what you know you I'm mean? smart. You know I'm intelligent. I mean, think about the way I'm speaking to you right now. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not one of these dumb boys. I'm, I'm self-educating on YouTube and things like that, and I think I'm doing a fine job. I understand what's going on, but during science class, I'm, I'm working on a, a lot of uh, entrepreneurial ventures in my notebook in, instead of doing you know, photosynthesis. I got what it is. Okay, I don't, I don't need to pound in my brain about plants if that's not what I'm going to work on for the rest of my life. Is that okay? I understand that. Do you understand? If you understood, Dad... Then you'd let me be an individual. You'd let me be who I'm supposed to be, Dad. Here's the thing. I'm Jerry, Dad. Here's the thing, son. I I understand where you're coming from, and I'm very proud of you for taking this initiative. Hold on. Ever since since my brother Ben died? I had another kid. (laughs) Ben and Jerry. (laughs) (laughs) You've, you've, You've been a helicopter dad, and you know I'm, you know I'm different. You know I've got special in me. Son, I've told you from the day you were born that you got that dog in you. Okay. And what I say, Dad? You said, let me woof. I said, woo. Woo. Okay. But here's the thing. All right. I told, I told my parents the same thing. I was just like you as a kid. And they told me. You right? seem like you were a loser as a kid, but keep going. That's really disrespectful, Jerry. I don't want you talking. I'm to me just like, like that. you know, very popular among my peers. You just didn't seem that way. So I don't know if we were on the same wavelength as a kid, but keep going. Anyway, okay, legally, I have to make sure that you get through school. Why? Okay, because that's the law. It's a law that I have to get a passing grade in science? You, you have to go to school. And I'm going to, to school. I'm just not doing anything. That's, that's the problem, right? Because then I get a call from the school board, then CPS comes, and they have to do a check on the house. Well, now, Where Dad? did you get a gun? <laughs> Who gave you, dude? Okay, I don't. Ben, know, before he died, I don't. We know what you did to him. I I didn't do anything. And we heard that. it was a pretty rocky road. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably the best ending that could have 
I, I could have had. You, okay, kids, if there's improv isn't going well, bring out a gun and hit it. <laughs> you can't say no. You it's can't. always yes, it's yes and. It's yes and until you're not breathing. Alyssa, how you feeling? Dude, Alyssa's had an attitude this week. I'll tell you that much. Excuse me? You, it's whatever. That's crazy. Everybody has Ooh, a bad week. It's not Zach a big deal. and Alyssa got beef. I don't have beef. She's got beef with us. It sounds like you got beef. I don't have an attitude. And it's roasted. And it's roasted. She needs to get laid. Definitely. You need to go on a hinge date. I need to get laid. Jared tells me. I definitely need to get laid. Huh. I wonder if there's a way to no. kill two birds with one stone here. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm not going to force anything, but it'd be nice no. to watch. Um, no, I've got my eyes on a girl. I'm just. Wait, who? <laughs> to talk to her yeah stop saying her name Dude, she doesn't <laughs> listen to this podcast she doesn't I, yeah but other you people existed. do who uh there's a guy name one of our friends that listen to this podcast uh exactly no there are people that listen to it uh mm. fucking brett brett listens to this brett if you listen to this podcast text me 8784 right now we'll see if you listen to this podcast <laughs> jared what, what would you say you're at a party you guys you and this um is it okay to say female in this climate, or how do you want me to dress her? I would say woman. Woman? <laughs> okay. Different um, post-menstruation woman. Let's put it out there. What does that mean? Uh, she bleeds. Yeah. So okay. she's in womanhood. Yeah. You two were at a party, a kickback of sorts, uh-huh. and run me through when you knew you were attracted to her, and then how you knew there might be potential for anything else. Well, I think she's gorgeous, but also- uh, could you imagine being a woman listening to this and then hear that about yourself? And would that, wouldn't you just get butterflies? Um, Someone called you gorgeous? Sure, yeah. Hot takes with Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's very nice. And then we, she, she also just has like a great sense of humor. And so and we talked for a while back then. Because we're talking all night. And then, yeah, it, just, it was just really easy to talk to her. So I was like, oh, this is something I think would be good to pursue. And then I was talking to some friends about it and uh, they also agreed that it would be good to pursue. And they said that they are willing to help. In what way? Like wingman me. You never asked me like, wingman? I don't trust you wingman. <laughs> Dude, you know I'm the best wingman. What do you mean? When it comes down to it, when, okay, on the podcast, yeah, we're throwing jokes around. We're insults. We're, you know, we're jabbing with a knife and twisting. But out in the wild, man? No, you always find a way to make it awkward and rip any sexual attention that is not room. true that is a hundred what name true. one time mia okay mia was not gonna work out <laughs> uh, i can think of a few reasons <laughs> why it, it sure it why you didn't help it not work okay out. that was one instance that one i regret instance, that was like a whole week <laughs> i regret that do you no i've helped you out in other instances and everybody knows about mia so we can keep her name in i don't think she's ever into you <laughs> okay and the entire time we we're in Punta Cana, the other girl i was helping you out I was talking you up uh, and you decide to do a handstand in the spa. I was, I was my own cooler in that moment. You did I nine was, handstands. I, I was my own cooler that entire like weekend. I was just, I don't remember a time until the last day of being sober. That's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> and mumbled so, a little bit when you say, yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'm ready for the drunk episode. That's going to be a lot of fun. When do we want to shoot that? Probably this weekend. Hell yeah. I have a few episodes. We should get Zayn and Heath on a drunk episode. We can get anybody we want on a drunk episode. I know, just fun. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Patreon link. Dude, uh, ugh. Okay, so you guys have this friendly banter. You guys are talking back and forth. You think she might be into you. You're into her, definitely. And then you've reached out to her since that night? How long ago was that night? That was too long ago. Gotcha. And then why didn't you follow up with a text? Fuck, there's a lot that's going wrong. My mom's calling calling you. Hello, mom. Can you talk for one second? Oh, that sounds Oh, um. I'm on the. What are you doing? I'm live on the podcast. Can it be heard by oh. thousands? No. All right. I'll talk to you later. Wait. Is it good or bad? No. I just was really mad about something. I just wanted to talk to somebody. I'll just talk to. Wait. Talk did, to you later. did I do it? No. 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 Oh. No. Not even at all. Oh, thank goodness. No. Okay. I'd love wait. You. Say. Wait. Say hi to the podcast. Hi, podcast. Oh, we're also doing a live show. Um, uh, May twenty eighth. Do you want to come? Um, I think that's why your dad's coming. I think that might not be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, but aren't you guys going to get back together? <laughs> Zachary, what? I love you. Goodbye. Uh, Have fun on your podcast. I hope that you don't use terrible language. That wasn't a no. Okay. I All love right. You. I'll call, call you after. Of I'm not going to. All right. I love you. Goodbye. I'll talk to you. I'll call you after to find out what happened. Bye, honey. Bye.
Okay. Yeah, that sounded serious. That didn't sound good. Okay, but you didn't text her. Why not? I, I didn't know what to text her. Anything would be better. I realize that now, and now I feel like it's been too long. But anyway, that's, yeah, that's, that's that. More updates to come. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully good ones. <laughs> uh, next week is just going to be you sobbing, cr- crying, and I thought this would be fun. I don't know if this is a bit, but awkward moments. I'm going to start with an awkward moment, and then you try to top it. Like, no, this is more awkward. Oh God, I'm gonna be so bad at this. So okay. we, we gotta we gotta start light. Um, okay, a teacher calls on you and you you weren't paying attention. Like that's slightly awkward. It's like yeah, oh, it's uh, like uh, you kind of yeah. you feel like you got caught or something. Okay. Um, your stomach makes a noise in like a really quiet but public place, and where like people like you could be like a toot and you don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's tough. <laughs> that's an actual toot. Oh. That you try to play off as something else. But okay, when you say two, you mean like a light one? Just, yeah, just like a, like a yeah, just like you like bend down. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a, oh, that's good. I remember, never mind. What? No, nothing. I was getting embarrassed, Jared, and I, I decided not to because I'm a good wingman. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp, thank you for sponsoring this episode. I'm not going to lie. Recently, my uh, mental health has been on a spiraling decline of darkness and, um, Thoughts that I don't like. But you know what has actually helped? Like genuinely? Therapy. And you know what I like to use? Better help. And I know they're sponsored, but genuinely they've actually like really given me a lot of help in the mental space that has uh, allowed me to, you know, be here. The reason I benefited from therapy because it feels like I'm working out my brain in a sense, you know? We go to the gym to work out our muscles, but we don't think of our brain in the same way. It's just like, oh, whatever the brain wants to do, it wants to do, and it can go left, right. We have no clear path. Well, therapy, I feel like, is a gym for your brain. You're training it in such a way to have a healthy mindset, and a healthy uh, healthy vision, a healthy way of thinking that improves just absolutely all aspects of life. I don't know if there's a single thing on this earth that I can advocate more towards than therapy, honestly. So if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, it's super convenient, and it's flexible to your schedule. All you have to do to get started is just fill out a brief questionnaire and you'll get matched with a licensed therapist. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash dropouts to get 10% off your first month today. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash dropouts. Honestly, guys, I know this is sponsored, but when I say therapy can just take you to another level of being a human being in the most positive way. I, I couldn't advocate for it enough. So please give it a try. Thank you. Better help. How are you going to embarrass me? I just remember a time you've done that. I farted. <laughs> <laughs> when I do that, whenever we, we were at Saxon's house that first time. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so <laughs> let's just talk about it. It was a long time ago. So Jared and I are over our friend Saxon's house and like not in a weird way. She's, She's an attractive woman, right? Uh huh. We're all just we're all just chilling on the bed. This is Jared's like first time really talking to her, and uh, we're all just hanging out on the bed, just having normal conversation, like deep into the night. And then Jared just like lets one rip on accident, and then just like I don't think it was like a let one rip. I think it was just like <laughs> I was trying to like control it. And but it in that moment, what was your thought? I wanted to kill myself. What are you talking about? What was my thought? I only had one. Did thought. we ever talk about it? I don't know. I just like it was one of those where you like you. <laughs> I guess you try to like fart inside your body. <laughs> Do you know what I'm talking about? Where you like internalize the fart? You like reverse osmosis this fart in your intestines. I don't know what you're talking about, man. But okay, maybe it's because <laughs> I just I feel like sometimes I can be a little gassy an extra gassy individual. Um, and now that I've started like working on eating more uh, and like focusing on my protein and intake, your gut health and my gut health, my uh, I'm getting the protein farts bad. Okay. I thought you were going to clear it up. Maybe like no. I fixed the issue working out, help the digestion. Uh, uh-uh. uh, uh-uh. uh, no, the protein's making it worse. <laughs> Dude, it's bad. Alyssa, is this true? You work out with them. Um, I haven't noticed anything. No, no, no. At the gym, it's fine because that's like early in the morning. Except I for that one day he had to leave because he used to oh, blow dude, up we the didn't, bathroom. We didn't talk about this. <laughs> okay, yeah. So there was one day at the gym we were doing legs, and but the night before 
I had ordered. It was the night I ate my Indian food, right? Because I'd been craving it. I was so excited. I got low level spicy, low level spicy because I know Indian food fucks me up. Okay. But I love it. I love the taste. And I, I housed it. And then the next morning we're doing legs and I'm just like, I, I mm-hmm. literally was about to explode. And like, thank God, the gods, it's Hinduism. <laughs> the, the gym that we go to has an individual bathroom on the weight floor. Right. And so I go in there, I do the first round. Right. But I'm kind of, I don't want other people. We what? Say, and the Muhammad Ali came out of you. We see the <laughs> same people every day at the gym. And so I don't, and there's always a line for this bathroom. And I didn't want the next person to like know that I was pooping. So I, I was trying to rush and I didn't get it all out. And so we're over there like doing squats or like RDLs. And I was just like, I'm literally about to spray this squat rack. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, if any potential girls were listening um, <laughs> and were interested in Jared, so sorry you had to leave. And, uh, and so I'm like, I, I'm sit- sitting there and I'm just like, I go to Alyssa. I was like, Alyssa, I need your keys. And she goes, what? I was like, I'm going to be back in 15 minutes. <laughs> okay. Here I sent her like the, the rest of the workout and I was like, just do this. Okay. I'll be back before you have to leave. And then I'll just walk home or whatever, right? I sprinted out of there. Uh, but like, well, I guess I should say like the walk, the fast walk or whatever, because I was clenching, dude. It was, <laughs> it was taking. And then in that moment, were you more or less attracted to him? Uh, never. <laughs> gotcha. Man, I'm, it's been a tough to set you guys up. I'm going to be completely honest. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I, I did, that was the closest that in recent memory I've ever come to shitting my pants as an adult. What's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Your, I, your watch says time to stand up. You don't care. Mm-mm. Technology doesn't rule you. Uh, no, uh, I care more about this podcast than standing up. <laughs> <laughs> really took a stance on that. Let's get into some of those questions. Are you annoyed? That we're not going to stagecoach. Am I annoyed? Or not annoyed. Are you bummed? I should say. Um, no. I know you like music festivals aren't your thing, but it's a country. I love. Music well, I love. I, I love country music. It's just where is stagecoach? Coachella. Yeah, it'd be fun. But you know, I'm but not. You're not I'm not like beat up about it. Oh. Okay. Why are you beat up about it? I guess beat up's not like beat up's a strong word. If I, I if like, I planned it a little bit more, like it's it just happens so fast that I. You know. It does happen so fast. People started talking about Coachella that just happened. And I was like, we're already that far into the year. I just like, oh, it would be so much fun. Give me a country word. Straw. I had a straw in my mouth, but not your kisses. My truck's solo now. No more misses. I wish you were with me. Right by my side, cause that's the last straw when you walked out my life. That was good. Thank you. Okay, so welcome back to the segment of dropout advice. Is that what it's called? Oh, we have advice Um, thing questions. I don't think we ever named it, but yeah. Uh, What's the email? Oh, if you guys want advice from two people that give terrible advice. Dropoutsadvice at gmail.com. Hell yeah, brother. This one's not like long, but it's like just, okay. there's some backstory. All right. Okay. So I have this guy friend and we've been friends for a while. I've always thought of him just as a friend, even though I've heard rumors of him liking me a few years ago. But recently we started to get a lot closer and gravitate towards each other at football games and school events. God, those are the, that's the best. Oh, dude, that is <laughs> such that is a good feeling. The best. It was a few months after that I realized I actually started to have feelings for him. And a week after I realized this, he invited me over to a party at his place on Halloween. We did watch the whole, we watched the whole like scary movie thing and almost cuddled, but his friends started teasing him and then he backed off. After oh, this, those friends are dicks. After this, things were kind of awkward because we both wanted to, but just didn't. Um, that's what uh, you do. <laughs> what did I do? I said, that's what you do. You make things awkward. Hold on. This remind this are you re- on another phone call. This reminded me of something and it made me really mad. And I gotta call somebody about it. Uh, <laughs> feels good, doesn't it? Hey man. 
No, it feels nice. Is all I'm saying. What what feels nice? The fact that I don't have to make a trek out west. Why do you have to make a trek out west? What do you mean for what? What are you talking about? The reason you called. No, this is the reason I called. <laughs> okay. And it, I, it out. I'm it's so. There. First of all, I'm on the podcast right now, and I uh, and I am so angry by you. Um, about me or by me? Both. Okay. I remember when we were younger. Oh, uh, here we go. We would, you know, I would always have a crush on a girl, and they'd usually be in our friend group, and we'd go hang out. Yeah. Um, usually, we'd go to the movies. Yeah. And, dude, I you would know I would like someone, and regardless, and I hope it wasn't premeditated. Delicious. Yeah. We would walk into the movie theater, and you'd position yourself in a way where you would sit next to her and not me. <laughs> And that, I don't even know what you're talking about. that really ticks me off. <laughs> you could you could have just said, you know, it's easy enough to say, hey, take a slide, t- t- you know, slide one chair over. No, n- dude, <laughs> shot me a little text. No, man, because you knew I was nervous about talking about women at that age. Yeah, but you were just a weird. You were a weird. You did. You had shit taped on your shirt. I, that, 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 I was, know, I that was that was elementary school. I'm speaking. Honest. I'm speaking of. It was all a blur. Post puberty. If I could go back, if I could go back, I wouldn't. I would do. I just, if I could go back to any time in life or in any previous life, like you know, <laughs> kill Hitler as a baby, stop <laughs> the nuclear bomb, things like that. Mm-hmm. I would go back to fourth grade when your mom went on that date with Casey, and I would, I would have killed her then. Whoa! Oh. I know, and I don't mean to mean I don't mean to bring your mom into this, but that's just the way I you have brought to her into this. Well, she's in it. You yeah. murdered her. My my one question is: to shut the fuck up back there, Jared. Skyler. It's, I'll beat your ass. Okay, that's that doesn't that seems rude. <laughs> that was rude. But did I you know? Did top. you know you did that? Because it happened almost every time. No, I'd like to. I like to sit by you. Is that what you're talking about? No, it wasn't me. By you? No, you would sit by the girl I wanted to sit by. Okay, but can I tell you something? Can what? I, so now, mistake. And if I'm wrong. I'm, and I may be wrong. I haven't been in the movies in a while. There, there's a row of seats, right? Yeah. There's a, quite a big row of them. So if I sat on one side of you, there is a seat to the other side. Can of you, you listen? Can you listen That's for a, a second? Point. No, Jared, I will break your teeth and make you call me dad. And also, I'm why? Out, I'm just trying to figure out where, like, where the where the chairs were they just tucked in by twos? Is that what it was? Can you listen or for a second, man? Ch- why weren't yeah, yeah, you ahead. positioning Sonny. yourself to be? Next I was to trying to. This guy is a weasel. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> we would be in. We would be in a group, and we'd all be walking into the theater, and it's like, okay, I. So she'd Just be before sitting, after snacks. I will bite you. <laughs> she would be sitting next to no, like. But seriously, let's paint the picture. If we're gonna just so I can get the right headspace. Yes, it was. I, I got peanut M and M's. Were there ices involved? Oh, um, I I would like an icy. I probably can't afford it. I also probably couldn't afford peanut M and M's. I don't think I got any snacks. And you weren't drinking a lot of sodas either, so I don't think you were doing ices. No, I would definitely you ask for a lemonade somewhere. Nope, I would get a water cup. Oh, God, you were poor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'd walk in, and there'd be another girl that she'd want to sit by, and so she would sit by. So the girl would be on one side. So there's going to only be one slot left. And I'd walk in, and every single time you'd be like, "Oh, I gotta tie my shoe," or you'd look, you'd look around and somehow position yourself like next yeah, to yeah. her, and it was it ticks me off to this day. I don't think that. I, I think I think you're drastically making this up in your head a little bit. Listen, I gotta go, but just think about how you treated me. No, I get it. I'll um, I'll take a, I'll 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 take a think. All right, thanks, man. Hey, Jared. Hey. Have a good day, buddy. Hey, you too. All right. Bye. Bye. Right. Sorry. Got me heated. <laughs> That's really been weighing on your mind. Oh, for a while. This, um, this reminded me of that. I, I meant to talk to him about this years ago. Um, go ahead. Sorry. All right. Continue. Okay. So anyways, fast forward. They go to prom together. It was great, but nothing <laughs> happened. Um, it's been about a month now, and they run into each other all the time, but are just starting to avoid each other and things, and they have different friend groups and whatever now. Um, so she's just kind of confused. Um, she, she thinks she can accept just being friends, but also has made hints that they want something more, um, that she wouldn't want to miss out on. But at this point, she doesn't even feel like we're friends. What is your advice that I should do? What do you think is going on through his head? Where'd the falling out happen? That's what I'm trying to figure out. So they went to prom together and nothing happened. And what does she say? What regard? Like, Mm-mm. no, just no kissing, no whatever. And so I'm assuming the falling out probably happened after prom 
man, that's a really fast to like get whole new friend groups. And then do they go to the same school? I feel like, like we're missing a lot of chapters. There's all, book. so many chapters missing. Cause like if they're only seeing each other like once a month or once every couple months or whatever she said, like, I don't understand. Well, no, it wasn't like they're seeing each other once every couple months. They're just, um, it was the timeline like a month later. Like they hang out? No, like a month late. Like she was just skipping. Oh. Timeline. Well, it doesn't sound like there's any animosity. You're in the classic, do we stay friends? Do we pursue something stage? And, you know, this is where I fall on it. Sparks and chemistry are, are hard to come by. A lot of humans, but not a lot of humans we like. Damn straight. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And the worst thing to live with is regret. Actually, I, I there's this thing on the Theo Vaughn talked about one time. He's just like, his mantra is ask her out. And that doesn't always have to be in the sense of, you know, a romantic partner. It could be, oh, I'm nervous about this thing. Ask her out anyway. Oh, I, I want to maybe pursue this and like ask her out. You're never going to know once you ask her out. It's more yeah. of like a metaphor. It's like, if you want to move to another city, ask her out, move yes. to that city, yes. take it that was, leap. It was, it, was, it was great advice. But I think in this instance, you obviously are, that's always going to weigh on your mind. And I feel like it's going to hurt if you see them with something else. So just be like, Hey, listen, there's chemistry here. It is what it is. I think we explore it. I think we go on a date. You don't really have a choice. So I'll see you this day, this day and uh, dress nice, but not too nice. Don't show me up. Don't be afraid to take charge of the situation. Exactly. Coming like- from a guy that won't text a girl. He, what? what was that? <laughs> What's up, That's rude. That's okay. Okay, send her a text then. I'll send her a text when my shirt comes in and I have an icebreaker. Okay, <laughs> when's your shirt coming in? It's on back order. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in on Monday. Yeah, but that's what I would say. And then obviously if they were a friend and you know the date doesn't work out, then you can move on into the platonic lifestyle. Yeah. But uh, I went on a date with one of my best friends uh, just to see, just because people kind of like kept pushing us together and... Um, and they were like, you guys should date. And we had really good chemistry. We went on a date, realized there was nothing romantic, and then just went and hung out with friends later that night, And but still friends since then. So like, just because you go on a date and maybe it doesn't work out or whatever, it's not the end of the world. Like You can still be friends with that person. So, But sometimes it is the end of the world. All right, okay. what's the next one? Okay. Okay. So this person said... Th- they started a job over a year ago, and they really hit it off with their coworker. We flirted a lot, and she I think she likes me, but I haven't asked her out because it's not allowed in the workplace. Um, I'm perfectly okay with just being friends. Recently, a guy she used to talk to started working with us, and now she only talks to him and avoids me. Um, we talked about him coming to work with us and how she genuinely doesn't want him to work with us because he really hurt him, her. Oh my God. He really hurt her in the past and says he's kind of annoying. Um, but it's still really weird for me and it hurts to see them together. All I want, I want her in my life, but he's in the way now. What should I do? This guy that hurt her in a relationship is now working at the place that she works. Yeah, with this other guy, the the person who asked this question that likes her. But isn't allowed to like her. Yes. Which, in regards to that situation... Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't shit where you eat. That's advice that my mom told me growing up. (laughs) Two different advices right there. What? Oh, I said don't worry about the work thing. If you you plan on staying there for a while, um, just don't do it because it makes things awkward if things go bad name one instance people have worked together and then it went bad uh me in high school you don't have any others you said name one <laughs> i think let's keep it at that okay man i can think of one <laughs> <laughs> okay you know what I'll, I'll let you take the reins on this one is that because you don't know what to do in this situation uh no uh i would just be like hey technically would you like to go on a companionship adventure at a local restaurant and discuss work topics that have nothing to do with our personal interests and hobbies to see if there's any chemical connections in our brain to see if we want to be with each other forever. Yeah, but the, well, remember the problem he's is, okay with just being friends. The, if he's okay with just being friends and just be friends, man. But here's, no. The, I'm the love doctor. I'm not the friends doctor. That's Jared. The, the, pro- <laughs> the problem now is that this new toxic guy, or I guess for her old toxic guy. Um, Got my PhD she, in STD. She... Doesn't, she's now she's, just avoiding. She's him. avoiding the new the 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 writer of the question, uh, but is talking to the new guy. 
But at the same time, the writer said that she's really annoyed that the, her ex is working there and she doesn't want him. That's why he's him. confused. Yeah. Um, get him fired. Just plant wow. drugs on him. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> catch him like uh, stealing something. Or just put yourself in a position to be more interesting. And by being more interesting, you're more interested in her. Find out what she likes. Like it too. Create a bunch of Google accounts and leave really bad reviews for that guy. That could work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. This might be hard for you guys. To Nothing's ever been hard for me in my entire okay. life. Let's go. Let's Including see. his penis. This person said, <laughs> whoa. This person said, I have Asperger's with lack of empathy and a hard... On? under <laughs> And a hard understanding understanding of social cues. What do you think is the best approach to trying to make friends or to make current friendships stronger? Oh, I just give up. Not really think anything you can do there. Zach. All right, next one. That's terrible advice. No, I, I, I think again, it's, it's identifying the people around you that you would want to be friends with, um, with similar interests or putting your, don't try to force things with people that you might not be able to get along with. I'd say find the things you're interested in, um, search around town of where the people gather that are in similar interests, go there. Be very open. Ask a lot of questions. Be more interested in them. Um, and I think that's how genuine friendship starts is by commonalities. I don't think you can just force something because the humans around you. Um, and if they're if they're not in the same wheelhouse of, you know, your brain and what you think about, then would you even want to hang out with them anyway? So, but also when it comes to you said Aspergers, right? Yes. So when it comes to that, when you do finally find that group of people that have the same commonalities and stuff you can either explain to them like not that you're like asperger's has to be your entire identity or whatnot but you can either explain to them your situation and um, ask for their patience and forgiveness and understanding if things do go wrong if like that lack of empathy or not understanding social cues becomes an issue um, and then the people that do give you that patience and understanding and have the similarities and commonalities of interests and stuff, then those are the people that you pursue the friendships with. And then the people that would make fun of you or just not give you the time of day after they understand the situation, just, you know, just don't even pay them any Eight, eight eleven. Screenshot that. Making friends is hard in general. Why? I, always I was giving you the time of day. I know. I always screenshot when I see the number 11. Why? Because eleven's my number. But what is that? What are you gonna do with that screenshot? Are you gonna look at it later? No, I just acknowledge it. I. This is why I don't like talking to you about no, this sort dude, of stuff because you, you don't. act like a, you act like, dude. It only makes me want to beat the hell out of you. Like it doesn't. <laughs> it does nothing weird. I just acknowledge. Can I ask you a question? Nope. Why do you have a girl's uh, hairband on your wrist? I found it in my room. Oh. I love wearing them around. Weird. Interesting. I don't know if it's a hairband. It it's is. It's a hundred percent a hair hairband. Looks band. like it's one of mine. Two of them. Oh, it's people with really thick hair. I found it in my room. Weird. Were you in my room? Who have you? Oh, let's talk about that. Who have you had in your room? Apparently, Alyssa. I mean, yes, I've been in your room before. Doing what? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing what? Nothing. <laughs> All right. Let's explain why you had to put contour on your knees, but not a big deal. Oh, did you see the Disneyland? fire that happened the day after you guys went wait what disneyland burned down not like in an entirety not like the entire Happiest place on earth is now hell but no um what's the show that happens it's like i assume it's worth all the fireworks or whatever it's got a name i forget what it's called fire show there's a but there's a dragon could be <laughs> could. that's it yeah that's what disney spends millions of dollars on marketing and advertising and creative I mean, it's for a fire show there's fire You're it's right. got it's got a name or something but they have like a, a dragon that breathes fire or whatever and then that thing are you sure up. that's not universal hogwarts that's a dra fire breathing dragon no i think it's disneyland they don't have a dragon at disney here we go i'm pretty sure do I'm, you remember seeing a dragon at disney i remember dragging these nuts <laughs> <laughs> so across, <stupid. laughs> across the disneyland streets it was a hot day. Disneyland's Maleficent dragon accidentally catches on fire during a live performance two days ago. Well, not two days ago. That was when the article. Was oh, Alyssa, somebody's calling. Answer it. It was God. He said you're wrong. 
I <laughs> <laughs> was wrong. But Hogwarts does have a fire breathing dragon. If we're always supposed to believe women, what, what are we, dude? It's we not a good case study. <laughs> We would have been wrong. We would have thought Orlando bloomed. <laughs> we would have thought Orlando bloomed. <laughs> yeah, there he is. Oh, uh, we would have thought that's one of life's happy little accidents. Universal Orlando burned down. <laughs> what are you yeah. laughing at over there? She's laughing that I fucked up while we were making fun of her. Yeah, that is a tough thing. <gasps> yeah, you cannot stutter when making fun of people. Mm -mm. All right, we get it. Okay, you can stop laughing. I saw an ad. Sorry. So it was uh, an ad that popped up on my Instagram. It had Aubrey Plaza on it. And have you seen this? It's for wood milk. Mm -mm. <laughs> and <laughs> it's crazy. Is that crazy? <laughs> so, well, I was watching the ad and it was. Hold on. This is dying. Dude, what the hell? I don't know. Don't worry about her. I was watching the ad and it seemed really well done. It's got a high profile celebrity in it and it looked like it was taking itself seriously. Right. And I was like, these vegetarian, vegan, non-dairy people are getting out of control mm -hmm. with their dairy milk alternatives. You know? Yeah. It's like, if you're looking for wood milk, come to my bedroom, you know, you know, you know what I mean? That's gross. <laughs> Ten, okay. Guys call it wood sometimes, Alyssa. I know. And then milk is white. It's like a play on that joke. It's a play on like a joke. I think she's got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you wiping your mouth after I said that? <laughs> but disgusting. So, my mouth. so then I click on the ad and I go to the homepage of mm -hmm. Wood Milk, and it is a picture of Aubrey Plaza's <laughs> face with a milk stash, but it's got wo wood chips in the milk stash. Did it make you want to buy it? And I was like, "What the fuck is going on? There's no way this is real." And so I'm scrolling through, and they're like the benefits of wood milk and stuff. I'm like, "This is." This is getting out of control. And so I go to shop. I just like, I want to see how much it got you. Wood milk is. And the only thing they had was shirts. And of course I scroll down and they go, they're like, if you're looking for any actual wood milk, you should know that this entire thing is fake. And this <laughs> is actually put on by the American dairy farmers. They should like, know that you're an idiot. <laughs> basically. And it's the whole thing is just like, Oh, if you buy these, like all the proceeds for, from these t-shirts or whatever, go to planting trees. I went down this rabbit hole of thinking wood milk was real because of Aubrey Plaza. It was so well done. It was so well done. Um, I should have known it was fake from the jump with her in it, but uh, I just thought that was kind of funny. That is funny. Yeah. You were duped. I was duped. By big, Hollywood. Big time. By big Hollywood face. I was duped by uh, farmers. You already explained. Oh, we already talked about that. What? Alyssa thought cows blew up. <laughs> no, we haven't talked about that on the podcast. Oh my oh. gosh. Where was where was where was that explosion? It was in like I don't know, but she was mad. It was this in, is an unfair. It was in Pennsylvania. Topic. A couple weeks ago, there was an explosion that happened at like a dairy farm, mm -hmm. right? Many cows deceased. Many cows deceased, and Alyssa and I are in the gym, and she, I'm like, I'm doing my my reps, and she goes, "See, that's why I don't eat meat." And I was like, <laughs> "What?" And she goes, she goes, they blew up the cows. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything about eating meat? And she goes, is that not how they kill them? <laughs> in my defense, it was there's, marketed in a poor way. There's no was Aubrey Plaza there? <laughs> you also didn't read the caption. Oh, yeah. and so Well, she, you should have known that. I thought they were just doing it to get it all done. Just make it easy, you know? Like You think what blowing about like, up cows and having to like scrape together the remains and sift shrapnel out of them. They were just burning them. I don't know either, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> but she yeah, she goes, she's like they blew up the cows. I was like, what does that have to do with anything? And she goes I, they're mistreating them. And I was like, <laughs> whatever. And I was like, that's like saying that's like an electrical plant blowing up and being like, that's why I don't believe in electricity <laughs> using power. It's like, that's not, it's not supposed to just, happen. I then I thought he was just being mean because I was like, <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> Alyssa. So then it was a miscommunication all around. So then the rest of the gym trip 
was a little awkward because it was a little tense. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't go on your guys' gym trips. <laughs> and uh, and she does later admit, she goes, I only read the headline. I didn't read the article. <laughs> and I just assumed they were blowing up cows with claymores. <laughs> They just have them in a herd and they chuck a frag. Was it in IUD? There. Yeah. <laughs> just car bombing them. <laughs> oh, here comes a big one. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Get the meat. <laughs> the Air Force is just calling in Hellfire Pistol. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like we got uh, about six of them together. All right. Send in the Hellfire. <laughs> Oh, man. My dad, dad was in the military. He was a backseater and he dropped bombs. <laughs> oh, dad, uh, wh- where'd you do? Where were you in war? Oh, no. I was in, you know, Indiana dropping <laughs> bombs in the middle of the hay fields. <laughs> Alyssa's not happy with us now. She's got her mad face. I on. don't care what she thinks. <laughs> I know. Dude, I know. You know I treat you too well. You do treat her well. Yeah, what now? What now? So much attitude for someone that gets treated so well. I don't have any attitude. Um, okay, so we are about to go on to our after school special, which is we're going to talk for another 20, 30 minutes of stuff we're not allowed to talk about in, in the webs. Um, we're going to get into some steamy stuff in my life and Jared's life. Uh, should I tell them what it's about or not? Oh, should, yeah. Should you tell them, give them a little tease, and then that way they want to go sign up? It doesn't, you know what? If you see it, you see it. If you know, you know. Link in the description. Um, also, on a future episode, we're going to have Alyssa try different kinds of meats for the first time. <laughs> I told <laughs> you going to go for that. You said you might. No, did not. We're going to start with a chicken nugget. Trust me. We can bully you into it. <laughs> All right. Um, if you stay till the end, thank you so much. Uh, DM me. DM me a picture of if you have a second cousin. Just send me a picture of them. I don't even know what my second but cousin is. But age appropriate. Okay. We'll go first cousin. Any cousin. What do you That's mean fair. age appropriate? Above 18. I'm not trying to. You're not asking for nudes. Oh, sorry. Just like. Did you think that's what I was asking for? I thought you just wanted to see the attractive ladies out there. I didn't even specify a gender. You just said cousin. You're right. You're sick. <laughs> you need to get laid. I was just. You're way too horny. <laughs> no, <laughs> Dude, she's horned up. Yeah, I know she is. Making sure we cover our bases. Why do you think she left this in my room? So I could come her in the middle and I'd be like, did you leave this in did here? did not leave that in your room. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you guys. Um, love you and follow and uh, dude, I don't know what else. Send us out. Oh, if you don't send uh, like this is what people right? Yeah, like does this, that matter? Comment. Yeah, yeah. it does matter. Okay, it good. matters a lot. It would be really helpful if you guys. Everybody's like clicked this. off. It doesn't matter. See ya. Yep. Alisa, put your shirt back on. Okay, or- fine. <laughs> Patreon, we'll save it for there. <laughs>